In this video, I'm going to be introducing the demo application that we're gonna be building in this new UI testing course. So I'm gonna be going through the app that we're gonna be building. I'm gonna tell you about the features, tell you about how it's gonna work, and talk about uh, some of the important components of this testing application. So like the things that we're using, for example, like Dagger, navigation components, channels and flows, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm gonna be talking about this, those things in more detail as I go through this video. But to start this off, let's just look at the app and you can take a look at it and just see kind of what we're gonna be working with. So here's the demo application on the screen here. It's a simple app that uh, it only has a network layer. So I'll actually pull up an architecture diagram. So here's an architecture diagram. I'm sure all of you have seen this before. You have your activity or view model repository. Then you have either your local database cache, which is usually room or your remote data source, which you access through retrofit. So in this course, we're not going to be having a database caching section of, of database caching layer. This is just going to be strictly, you know, activity view model uh, repository and then the remote data source. Um, I didn't say fragments, but we're going to have fragments, a single activity and multiple fragments. So we have a single remote data source and we're going to need to mock those things out. We're going to build test fakes because obviously in a, in an espresso test, you can't actually access the network. So we're going to be building tests for that. So let's build, bring the uh, app on the screen here again. So here it is. We have a list of blog posts in the main feed when you launch the app. If you've taken the powerful Android apps course, you'll see that these are very familiar. It's actually using uh, some of the same data. Uh, so I'll show you where it's pulling the data from. Let me just open that up, open my browser. So if we go to openapi.xyz, placeholder, categories. Here's three categories that are being pulled into the application. So if I go to the app again here, notice if I click this menu up here, there's three categories, fun, dogs, earth porn, and then all, which is obviously all the categories. So it matches here, fun, dogs, and earth porn. It's actually pulling this from OpenAPI, which is the website that I built for you guys. So there's the, the categories. Then if we go over to the other placeholder, we have open API XYZ, placeholder and blogs. So this is a list of the blog post data that you see in the application. That's all of these blog posts right here. So if I scroll to the top, um, I'll actually put this in a JSON beautifier so you can actually see this a little better. So we look over here, we have, you know, Vancouver P&E 2019. You can see the title matches here. Category is fun, there's fun, and then there's the image. The, the body of it, you can see if you click on one of these blog posts. So there's the body down there, category again, image, and then the title. If I click one more time on this image, I'm taken to a full screen view where I can actually pinch and zoom on this image. Uh, I'm actually gonna run this on my real device so I can demo that for you. So now I've launched the app on a real device. This is my OnePlus 5 phone. So I'll click on one of these blog posts. I'm gonna click on here again so I can show you that full screen image. So now I can actually pinch, I can zoom, I can pan around. And you can see uh, th the, the detail as you zoom up closer to one of my dog's heads there. So that's the final view. Uh, you, have you have detail fragment and then you have a list fragment right here. So in general, that's the app. It's pretty simple, but it's going to showcase uh, a lot of things that you very commonly use in Android development. You know, the most typical app you ever build is always, uh, you know, you have uh, activities or fragments, usually single activity architecture, you have a view model, you have uh, repository and database cache. Usually you have both, but in this case, you just have one. But I mean, it's the same standard architecture and the process of building test fakes for those layers is exactly the same. So it's a good, it's a good overall thing to learn how to test. Okay, so here I'm at the course page for this course, and I'm just gonna kind of go through these points and talk a little bit more about them, uh, about uh, these components of the application. So obviously this is gonna be a Kotlin thing. I've kind of gotten rid of Java. All my new courses are in Kotlin. Uh, Dagger 2, so Dagger 2 is a big one. Dagger 2 makes testing easier. It makes testing easier because it forces you to structure your code in a way that makes testing easier. What do I mean by that? I mean, you typically would do constructor injection and provide any of the dependencies that the classes you need or the, that the classes need. So when you're writing your tests, it's very obvious what things you need to mock, what things you need to build test fakes for, because you pass them through the constructor. So I'm gonna be using the regular version of Dagger, not Dagger Android. I'm basically getting rid of Dagger Android. I'm probably never gonna use it again because it makes testing very difficult. And there's a lot of kind of weird gotchas that it uses that I really just don't like. Plain old Dagger, I much prefer. So we're using plain old Dagger. Now Dagger, uh, as I just explained, makes testing a little easier in the fact in the way that um, you have to provide dependencies so you know what dependencies you need for testing but it also makes writing the tests and preparing for the tests a little bit more difficult so we're going to be focusing kind of a lot on dagger in this course we're going to be building test fakes we're going to be building a test app component a test base application class 
test modules. Basically, we're gonna build an entire test kind of environment for all of the dagger things, all of the components, all the modules, like I said, uh, so that we can use them in our espresso test. And you'll see that the kind of, the there's a lot of overhead when you first start this up. There's a lot of things you need to do before you can write your first test. But once you have that all set up, you have really robust tests that are very similar to what your actual application is like so you get really good tests that are very similar then that's what you want you want your test to be as close to the real thing as possible and that's what you get when you build these uh, really good test fakes and you kind of mock everything out so next on the list here is navigation components so yes we're going to be using navigation components single activity architecture with a bunch of fragments uh, we're going to be obviously testing the navigation controller. We're going to be testing fragments in isolation. We'll be testing activities in isolation and doing some end-to-end -end testing for the overall navigation of the app. So starting from starting the activity to viewing the first fragment, navigating all the way to the end of the, basically as deep as possible into the app and seeing if everything is working correctly. Uh, we have MVI architecture, which as you know, is my favorite architecture. If you haven't watched my MVI introduction course, I highly recommend doing that before you watch this course. So I have a model view intent architecture kind of introduction course. Uh, also the powerful Android apps course. I'm sure most of you have watched that, but you know, I've talked to a lot of you in discord. I talked to a lot of you on YouTube and most of you have watched that. So I'm expecting that most of you have seen these courses or one of these courses before watching this one. I still need to do the thumbnail for this. That's uh, uh, that's just the kind of pending thumbnail. Uh, so uh, next I have a real network layer because we're going to be mocking out, we're going to be building a test fake for the network layer. Obviously you can't actually test like the retrofit request itself. So instead we're going to be building a fake kind of retrofit uh, interface for returning data that looks exactly like our real data. So it's a really good way to build test fakes because the data is pretty much the same. And then the last point here I have is flows and channels. So this is something that I've been experimenting with. Um, those of you who watched my MVI course or watched the powerful Android apps course, know that there was, was come, kind of a limitation with the way that you could fire off state events and get results. You could only ever fire off one state event at any given time and wait for that result before firing off the next one. So flows and channels kind of solve this problem. You can essentially fire off 10 state events, 20 state events, doesn't matter, and then just kind of watch as the um, results trickle in. So it's a much better way to structure your code, and probably after this course, I'm gonna do a series or a course on channels and flows. All right, so I wanna I want finish off this video just by saying that this is not a beginner course. If you don't understand Dagger, if you're not comfortable with Dagger, you are really gonna struggle with this, because I'm not gonna spend any time pretty much building the actual application. We're spending all of our time in the Android test directory, so we're just kind of focusing on building test. That being said, I'm sure if you've taken my Dagger course, if you've taken the Powerful Android Apps course, you should have no problem. Even if you don't know how to use regular Dagger and you're used to Dagger Android, I think you should pick up on these things pretty easily. It's very similar. In many ways, it's much easier, I think, personally. So don't worry. Um, but if you have issues, you know, ask in the Discord channel. Ask me. Yeah, Discord channel is probably the best. So let's, uh, that's enough talking. Let's go to the next video and see what is coming up next.